All right. And this example, the main important thing, guys, yes, in 10 minutes, and hopefully I can get this done in about five minutes. That's at least my goal. So the main important thing, um, guys, I've been telling you from the start is just when you're given information, plot the information, please. Your foci here is at negative two, four, one, two, three, four. And your other foci is at negative two, negative two. Now again, remember these are your foci. But based on our understanding of an ellipse, we know that the center is directly in the middle between your two foci. It's also directly in between your two vertices. It's also directly in between your two co-vertices. So um, it looks to me like my center should be a distance of three on the top and bottom, right? So therefore, that's three and that's three. So therefore, already right now, the distance from the center to my foci I know is c equals three. The next thing is it says the minor axis length is eight. Well, the minor axis length is 2b. So I know that 2b is equal to 8. Therefore, b is equal to 4. OK. Now, we need to figure out a, because obviously we need to have an equation. So I need to have a squared and b squared. So I say a squared equals, um, I'm sorry, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared, which is 9, is equal to a squared, which I do not know minus b squared, which is 16. Add 16 to both sides. 25 equals a squared. And again, that's what I need is a squared. I don't really need to solve for a, Brian. Does that make sense? I don't need to solve for a. Now, the next thing is, guys, I can't talk over you. It's too many of you. I would never pick a fight with you, right? Because you guys would win. You guys have massive numbers. But I can't talk over you either. Yes? Um, I'm just confused. Isn't it a squared minus b squared? So, so and if b is equal to 4, wouldn't it be negative 4? This is the formula that I provided. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So now the major thing that I want you guys to understand, now that we have all the information, we know my, oh, we know this point is my center, which is at uh, negative 2 comma 1. That's my h, and that's my k. So to write the equation for an ellipse, all you need is h, you need k, and you need a and b. Well, that's it, because you just square a squared and b squared. But the other important thing, Brian, that I'm going to check is do you have the a under, or do you have the correct equation? So we got to know, is my major axis vertical or horizontal? has to be vertical because what lies on your major axis? Your foci and your vertices. Well, I don't have my vertices and co-vertices here, but I know that my foci lie on the major axis as well. So the formula I'm going to use is x minus h squared all over a squared plus y minus k squared all over b squared equals 1. So now I just plug in my information, x minus a negative 2 squared over a squared, which we said was 25, plus y minus 1 squared all over b squared, which is 16, equals 1. So my final answer is x plus 2 squared over 25 plus y minus 1 squared over 16 plus 1. Questions? Preguntas? Yes. Because I don't know why either. There's, I, swi I swap those out, right? It's a major axis is vertical, correct? Yeah. Thank you. Good catch. OK. Last but not least, let's move quickly.